second layer of soul music that is beneath Motown and Sax. In the 60s, every city in the country had a soul scene, but each city had a different sound. There was this incredible wealth of music that had been created here. It all seemed to have been erased. We were the first black record production company in Florida. Deep City, nobody really paid attention to us. No, no. Those guys were trying to make their own thing happen. I came from the project, so every time I went to the store, I would have to fight going to the store and fight coming back from the store. We never got down to really shooting at people, but we threatened people and let them know, hey, you know where to find us? Join this record shop. We'll be standing out front. Motown was like an inspiration. We got to be as good as them or better. One of the things that was unique about Miami is we had so many different influences. The music was infected by some of the Caribbean music floating in over the airwaves and the different populations that were melting together down in Miami. And that's why it bugged me years later when the Miami Sound Machine and Expose and John Cicada all were being called the Miami Sound because they were very slick. They wrote, I don't know how many songs for all kinds of different singers. I started thinking to myself, these guys gotta be geniuses. A super talent from down around Miami, Florida, and Betty Wright. His love keeps me. My producers are Willie Clark and Clarence Reed. These are great confluences of, of talent kind of coming together. Clarence, you know, he learned entirely by ear. That's why I say he's a musical genius. Helene Smith at one time was considered the first lady of South Florida soul. It deserves to be known about by everybody. 
people should know Little Beaver's name. People should know Betty Wright's name, Willie Clark's name, Clarence Reed's name. If it wasn't for them, there would have been no Casey and the Sunshine Band. There would have been no Uncle Luke because they laid the foundation. Deep City has a very specific sound. Those guys were there at just the perfect time. It's something honest and real. It manifested itself in Deep City in those early labels that Willie Clark and Johnny Pearsall did. That's the legacy of Deep City, the birth of the Miami Sound. Let me 